everybody. Welcome back to Circle Time and our week of Earth Day and recycling. Um, today we are going to talk about trees and why they're so important. Uh, but before that, let's sing our song and let's do our weather and our counting and then we'll move on to that part of it. Okay? So let's sing. Here we go. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine and I hope that you are too. You guys are all fine. Okay, let's do the weather. Hold on, let me hold up the weather chart. Here we go. Okay, can you look outside? A few minutes ago it was a little sunny, but right now, let's see what's going on. Okay, do we see any rain? Nope, I don't see any rain. Do you see any snow? No snow today. Um, right now I don't really see any sun, so I think we are going to stay with cloudy just like the other day so we'll put that right there good job okay i'm going to put this down for now and let's do our counting let's do a little bit different thing for counting today i want to show you what i have here oh my goodness can you see what this is it is a big pile of toilet paper rolls all right i want you guys to take a look at the pile and make a guess. Tell me how many you think are in this big pile of toilet paper rolls, and then we're gonna count them together, okay? All right, so in your head, or you can sit, tell me right now how many you think are in the pile, okay? Are you ready? Do you have a guess? Okay, take a look. Make your best guess, and then let's count together. We're gonna line them up across the table. Okay, ready? Here we go, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh my goodness, 18 toilet paper rolls. And look, they line up all the way across the table. All right, good job guys, good counting. The book we're gonna read today is called Curious George Plants a Tree. So we're gonna read the story and then we're gonna talk a little bit about why trees are so important. Okay, here we go. Curious George Plants a Tree. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today was a good day to be curious. The man with the yellow hat was taking George to the science museum. The museum was one of George's favorite places. There was always something new to see and interesting to learn. Often there was a special exhibit. George wanted to know what it was today, but first he had to make his favorite museum stops. The rocket room, the mirror maze, and the butterfly space. Oh, look, he's got a butterfly on his nose. Finally, George and his friend made it to the special exhibits room. The sign read, how you can take care of our planet. George learned many things. How all people, animals, plants, air, and water on the planet make up the environment. How trees help keep the air clean and how people can help protect the environment from pollution and too much trash. George had a great time and didn't get into any of his usual mischief. As he and his friend were leaving, they bumped into the museum director. Dr. Lee looked happy to see him. How is my best monkey visitor, Dr. Lee asked George. I'm so glad I ran into you. I wanted to tell you that we're having a Green Day rally tomorrow at the park. George was curious. Whatever a rally was, he was sure that the park was a good place to do it. We're going to plant a truckload of trees and collect used paper for recycling, Dr. Lee explained. 
We didn't have much time to advertise, but we need lots of volunteers. How would you like to help out? There was nothing that George liked better than to help. What a great idea, the man agreed. We'll be there. Oh, look, there's the truck with all the trees that they're gonna plant. That night, George was ready to do his part for re the recycling drive. He gathered every newspaper in the house. He stacked old mail on top of the papers. He piled empty cardboard boxes and food cartons on top of that. What a heap! What more could he add? George scratched his head. Then he took several books off of his bedroom shelf. Hmm. Just as George was about to add them to his recycling pile, someone lifted the books out of his hands. Not so fast, George, the man said. These books are made of paper, all right, but you can read and enjoy them many times. And when you're done, you can donate them to the other kids to, or to your library. Reusing is just as important as recycling. The next morning, George and his friends set off for the park with their wagon of neatly stacked papers. Suddenly, the man stopped and said, I forgot my gardening gloves. Go on without me, George. I'll be there soon. As George walked down the street, he spotted several newspapers lying about on his neighbor's front lawns. George had an idea. He had lots of room in his wagon. He could recycle all of those newspapers. Uh-oh, he's picking up people's newspapers that they haven't read yet. And the newspapers were not the only thing he could recycle. He noticed a stack of paper cups waiting on a table under a tree. Into the wagon they went. So did a pile of magazines and a heap of papers someone left on their sidewalk. George was happy with his great load. At the park, he found Dr. Lee standing under a big banner. Good morning, George, Dr. Lee said. I'm so glad you came and brought all of your friends. We need lots of help to get the work done. George turned around. He was surprised to see so many faces, but they did not look very helpful. They looked angry. The man with the yellow hat arrived just in time. He explained to the neighbors that George was gathering paper for a good cause. They were no longer mad. They even stayed to help plant the trees. George, you saved our green day, Dr. Lee said with gratitude. Those trees will provide fresher air and each summer we'll have more shade, which means we'll use less water to keep the grass green. Thank you. Being a monkey, George had known all along how important trees were. The end. Did you guys like the story about Curious George planting all the trees? I hope you did. All right, let's talk about why trees are so important. Can you guys think of reasons why trees are so important? Yes, that's right. They are houses for lots of animals like squirrels and birds. That's right. Can you think of another reason why they're important? Yep, they provide shade, which keeps us cool. Think about when you're outside playing on a really hot day and you go stand under a tree and how much cooler it is under the shade of a tree. The trees also keep our houses cool too, which is important. Can you think of another reason? Yes, that's right. Trees give off oxygen, which we need to breathe. That's a really important thing is that, that trees do for us. So that's why we love our trees and we need to take care of our trees and it's why it's also important to plant a lot of trees. So let's, I have a song about trees for you guys right now. If you can see these trees right here, I'm gonna sing you a little song. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, I went to plant some trees, some trees, some trees. I went to plant some trees. One, two, three. The first one was an apple tree, an apple tree, an apple tree. The first one was an apple tree with apples so yummy. The second was a flower tree, a flower tree, a flower tree. The second was a flower tree with colors so pretty. The third one was an oak tree, an oak tree, an oak tree. The third one was an oak 
tree with nuts for squirrels to eat. All right, guys, so I have an art project suggestion for you to do. I would love for you to make some trees like I did here. So if you can see, you see the trunk of the tree? Can you tell what that is? That's right, they're the toilet paper rolls. So instead of recycling them, which they are recyclable because they're paper, you can reuse them and make a tree. So all you have to do is make a little slit on either side and you can make a little face like I did and you cut out kind of like a circle or any kind of shape that you want for your tree and you can decorate it any way you want. You can make an apple tree if you want and then you just put the top right there and then it'll stand up and you can make lots of different trees. You can make an apple tree, you can make a flower tree, you can make a fall tree, you can make anything that you want. I would love to see your trees, okay? So the last activity that we're gonna do together today is that we are going to go on an Earth Day scavenger hunt. I will email this to your parents so they can print it off and you guys can do this together. Uh, let me go through the list with you. The first thing is I want you to find a bush with new buds on it. It's springtime, so the leaves are starting to come out on all the bushes. Um, I'd love for you to find a rock that's smaller than your hand find a squirrel, any kind of bug, some new flowers that are blooming, a twig, some grass, a tree that's taller than your house, a green leaf, a bird, a cloud, and a pine cone. And you can bring a marker with you. And every time you're outside that you find something, you can put a little check mark or an X or a little dot or anything that you want to show that you found it, all right? So let's go outside for a minute and see if we can find maybe the first two things on our list together, okay? All right, let's go on our scavenger hunt. I've got my list of things that we're looking for. I've got my marker to check off the things that I find and Mia wants to come too, so she's coming. Here we go, let's go. Okay, I just found a bush with new buds right here. Do you see them? They're slowly coming out. Okay, so I'm gonna look on my thing and I'm gonna put an X by bush with new buds. Okay, I'm gonna go try to find a rock smaller than my hand. Oh, I found a rock and it's definitely smaller than my hand. Okay, I'm gonna check that off on my list. I hope you guys enjoy doing the scavenger hunt. It should be a lot of fun. And I will see you tomorrow for our Zoom circle time meeting. And just a reminder to bring one thing that you can put in the recycle bin. So look for something that has this symbol on it that you can recycle and that you can bring tomorrow and share with us for our circle time meeting, okay? I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.